the dam for a good uh, keep a license. Mm -hmm. Okay. But we only kept enough where we'd be a compliant with him. We sold the rest of four weeks. It's a flood. Yeah, I know. It's crazy, isn't it? So that would actually be. Should have seen what it was. Yeah. Higher before we sold it. Yeah. 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 Oh, no, that is the total. Oh, that is the total. But they died here? Yeah, 500 and 500. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, that makes more sense. Yeah. Still a lot of money for this. I think we have to vote on these, at least, as I was down. That's for the. Um, that's for the um, that's for the we have to vote on them. We already signed off on them. We just have to sign the checks. Yeah, I'll make sure they're the same ones. Yeah. Yes, they are. I okay, we are. I, I, um, well, I'll talk about a second. We will open the Rollins for select board meeting for August the 27th. It is early. First order of business is the approval of minutes. I didn't have any uh, any edits. Uh, all those checks, though, are in the, in the minutes that we approve. Hey, we just had to sign a check. Oh, okay. Um, I was okay with it. Yeah, okay. All right, so by consensus, we'll approve the uh, August 20th minutes. We have, um, we have a 630 appointment with Mr. Kavanaugh. Do you want to come yeah. up and we'll discuss your situation? Basically, <laughs> what I own, 420, 422 Boundary Street. I owned it for 14 years. It was previously owned by Keith Glinsky. Okay. Uh, bought it off him in 2004. We now live on Woodland Drive, over on the other side of Benetton. Mm -hmm. My wife's active in the school board and everything. Um, I'm looking to get a variance for my third unit. It was built with permits in the back. Um, needs a sore permit pulled so I can get an occupancy permit for it. I'm short 800 square feet. Right. So I'd like to get a variance if possible. We can grant variance. I know. I need to know how. Nobody's right. actually been so able to tell me we, um, which direction to right. go. Right. So the, there was um, 1999, I think, they were filed. I saw there was um, application for variance because of the um, the lot size requirement for the additional unit, and it was denied. Okay. So the only other course of action then this board can't do anything. The zoning board can't do anything. The next course of action is either the superior court. Or the te uh, uh, board of land and tax. I don't do it backwards. But I think it's board of tax and land appeal. So it's either out of appeal. Yep. The acronym may be backwards, but um, that's what you have to do. Well, so it, it carries over for the property, not the owner. It's the property, it's not the owner, right? Yeah. yeah so so. Okay, so that would be my next course. Of Unfortunately, action. yeah, we've been we were trying to figure out if there was a way that we could do something in town, yeah. um, so that you don't have to go through this process. But it doesn't. We talked to our the building inspector code enforcement officer, he said no. Once this, if you were asking the ZBA for a different ruling on the property, then, then you could you could ask for another variance. I mean, if you were asking for something separate, but that's what you need is the, uh, is the lot size is really the issue. Yeah. You need, what, one and a half times, I think, is for... Yeah, for and I've got adequate off-street parking every day. Yeah, it's just that other thing. So I don't know why it was denied back then. I well, no right, because Keith didn't follow me. It could have been. I mean, I don't know. I, I wasn't involved with it, so. Yeah, I've, so I've, I've taken his wrath a few times. So you're looking to add another septic? Or, or, or is no, it, no, no, I, is no, it no, a town? Is it a town No, everything's he's, run and stuffed into the basement. Right. Okay. And I tested everything. Everything's good. I was just going to put a uh, shore injection unit and then yeah. run it over the two line. It, it shouldn't have been plumbed and all that because the, the water department hadn't signed off on it either back then. But yeah, I was so, planning on, I talked to the code enforcement guy, and I was planning on, yeah. you know, buying all the steps to go, having it sure. inspected, except that's what I do for work. So. Right. Uh, you know, yeah. I like to do the things way Keith did. <laughs> I, I, I think we'll appreciate that, but um, unfortunately, we're, we're our hands so are So it would be Office of who now? It's, and, so it's the Board of Land and Tax Appeal. Right? Is I'm that trying to think what, Yeah, it's in Concord, so... Or you can go to the Superior Court. I mean, either way, you need to. You can represent yourself. Well, actually, you technically can represent yourself in the Superior Court, I think, but um, I wouldn't. But um, you can represent yourself at the Tax or Board of Tax and Land Appeal. It's a much, I don't want to say easier process, but it's probably less intimidating and yeah. all of that stuff that goes along with going to court. Probably quicker. So, probably, well, I don't know if it's quicker. Well, that versus court. I mean, well, yeah. They, yeah. they, they, they yeah. schedule quite a few yeah. years on the court. 
Alright, so... I'm sorry, yeah, we, I looked into this a lot, uh, for a lot today with the code enforcement officer. And they, we went back and forth. It doesn't look like it's anything that we can do once that decision has been rendered. Okay, so, so there's no appeal process to At the town level, no. Once you go, because the ZBA is sort of a quasi-judicial um, committee, okay. that, um, then the next step is to go to the board. The, 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 the board the okay. So if they approve it, then... If you went there, then what did Tom say? Then yeah, you would be you would be able to. They would notify us. Yes, and you either. No, but I did, I'd have to find out again what happens after that. Um, if you come back here for another hearing, or if that's just the final step, I think it's the final step because you've yeah. gone to the next level. Of then I'd have. Then I could go get my permits and follow the normal. If they, procedure. if they. Um, if, the, if that board says that for some reason the, the process on our end, I mean, it was also quite a long time ago. Yeah. <laughs> so I, don't, I can't speak to the process. I don't know. I wasn't there. So if for some reason it wasn't done correctly, you could be appeal on technicality. I mean, it could be a whole host of things. So I don't okay. know. I don't, I, don't, I don't know that it's all doom and gloom. I mean, I would, if you're very serious about it, I would think that you would want to go that next step. To be yeah, I, I do because it's such a waste. I mean, it's a perfect one bedroom environment. Square feet on the lot. <laughs> yeah. So, okay, I'll um, have space with some. I just needed to really find out the direction to go because I wasn't really, yeah. nobody was sure. Yeah, that we, we've, it was only late until in the day that we finally got okay. the no, I appreciate your help and I appreciate your looking I really am sorry that there's, you know, not anything else we can do for you, but. Should have been more. Well, if there is one other thing you can do, I mean, you can file a civil suit because I don't know what they told you when you bought the property. But if they told you that, yo, know, everything was fine, you're all Well, they told me just had to come here and get an occupancy permit. Yeah, that everything that was good. And the truth. And they didn't tell me anything about any of the courts. I didn't do my due diligence. Wow. That was my fault. I think we had to disclose that, though, too, to be honest. But yeah. I mean, just to tell you that, oh, you just come get a permit, you're all set. That's okay. not the truth. So. Denise Caldwell Ellis was the realtor just to have it on record. <laughs> So, so if you can't find them, let us know and we'll get it. We'll find it. Okay. For you. I'm sure What's that, that the contact? No, no, the uh, the website for oh, that. Oh, I should be. I should be able to find it. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Just go to the state website. website, whatever their appeal process is. Yeah. yeah. And, yeah. That, and so. you should ask. Um, we we should be able to provide you a copy too of the of the file if we yeah. have it here. So. Yeah. Okay. And I would, to be honest, that's what I would be the first thing we would contact Caroline tomorrow and ask for a copy of the of the file so you have it all. So you'll need, you'll you want, you'll need that, that for, for your appointment with them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'll have that. I already got matched to the property and everything all laid out, so we should be good on that end. Okay, well, thank you for your time. Sure. I appreciate it. Yep. I appreciate Bye. all the effort in it. Thank you. You're welcome. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Next to order of business on the agenda. Oh, yeah. Any input? Got my work Do we have any, uh, any community input? Other community input for this evening? At this stage of the game? Okay, for the agenda. All right. First department head they came in was the police chief. Are you okay? We usually put in alphabetic order, but he's been. I'm fine. What do you mean? Mm -hmm. Okay, we have three purchase orders for tonight. First is LaBelle Computer Services. Um, please inform me that the. Um, Subscription that we have for the advanced firewall, antivirus, malware, encryption, whatever, has expired. And the company that uh, we had it uh, with is, is a Russian company, and it's now on the no-use list. Uh, so he's, he's done some research, and um, I, I could not pronounce the name, to be that. But he's done some research, and the company's located is called Sophos Central Intercept X. So we have a three-year subscription for 14 computers. And he's got 14 years, so I'm assuming it must include upstairs, upstairs as well. Um, so for LaBelle Computer Services, uh, purchase order number 1455 for 14 encryption, advanced firewall, antivirus licenses, uh, $1,177.40. I will talk with Caroline to see if it will come out of the technology. If there's not enough money there, I have money in my uh, equipment account that I can certainly use it for you. Okay. So I move purchase order 1455 on LaBelle Commuter Services for um, subscription license for three years for the 
advanced firewall and malware. Is that what that malware. Is? Okay, yeah. and antivirus for one thousand one hundred and seventy-seven dollars and forty cents. Second, any discussion? We um we do have money in the in the technology line, so okay. Um, use it where it's in, I guess. Okay. Any uh, any other discussion? If not, all those in favor of purchase order one four five five say aye. 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 Those opposed. All right. to two-way communications. Um, this is for a prisoner partition, which is the cage for the new car. Originally, we were going to take the cage out of the Taurus and put it in the new Explorer, and that would fit perfect. However, since we sidelined the old Explorer, that cage is just too, it's too uh, narrow and it's too tall to fit into the new Explorer, so we had to purchase a, uh, a separate cage for that install. And that will come out of my equipment line, and that is to the amount of six hundred and forty-four dollars. Why do we get it for two-way communications? Because they order all that stuff and do all the installs. Oh, just non-radio um, that stuff. They do that as well. Oh, they do it all. Oh, okay. thank you. All right. So I move purchase order one four one three for two-way communications for a prisoner partition for the. Cruiser 72, coming out of the equipment account for $644. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor of purchase order number 1413, say aye. 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 Those opposed? All right. And my last purchase order, number 1460 to Todd's Touch to install an auto starter and an anti-theft system in the new vehicle. It's an anticipated expense, we anticipated it, and that's $350. And I move purchase order 1460 for Todd's Touch for auto starter and anti-theft for the Cruiser 72, $350. Coming out of the equipment again. Second. Any discussion of purchase order 1460? If not, those in favor, aye. 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 Opposed? All right. Seventy-two is now ready to go to bid. It's been stripped. Okay. Mike Speed took all the uh, decals off of it over the weekend for us, so I'll get together with Caroline, and she'll uh, prepare something for your approval, and then okay. we'll get it out here as soon as possible. Perfect. Okay. Rather than sitting around. Yeah. yeah. So. so the other one's yeah. actually not on, but it's not on the road yet, right? It's not being used. Okay. It's, it's still being, like Wednesday we are uh, getting a U-Haul installing the trailer hitch and whatnot, yeah. so it's. So a couple of things, so it's to be striped. Okay. So, yeah. In the need, you could, but oh, yeah. right it, now it could be used. I'm sure. That's all that I have for you, folks. Anything for me? Budget time. Yes. It's probably everyone's favorite time of the year, right? <laughs> so our um, our schedule is uh, accelerated because of the change in um, yeah. four months. government that we will be following under the SB2 model. So we have to have all of your information much sooner. So we have, um, we're going to go over the, the calendar tonight, but look for an email in the next probably, probably tomorrow, actually, because we're going to set the deadlines tonight, but it's going to be earlier than usual. Okay. Which I know doesn't tell you much, but um, when did you usually get your information in? Usually it's uh, around the beginning of October. It's going to have to be earlier than that. Yeah, um, it won't be an issue. Because we have to have our, our first uh, hearing on the uh, on the budget. Well, we only have to have one year to go. I, I, I took um, the last day to give notice of the public hearing on the annual budget is January 15th. And then the hearing itself is, where is it? I left my highlighted copy on The last day to actually hold the public hearing is January 15th. Oh, January 8th is the last day to give notice for January 15th, sorry. Mm -hmm. Got my glass on, I still can't read. Um, so, we'll need to be, uh, we'll need to work on it, clearly. So, um, end of September, maybe. That's not right. Okay. Yeah. 
I don't anticipate even any. earlier is better. So I mean, at this point, I don't anticipate any large uh, increases or whatnot. So yeah. did you roll? Well, it, de um, well, it depends on what happens with. But that would be a whole different thing. But as far as the police budget itself, I don't anticipate any large changes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. We did have a meeting last um, last week. Okay. Uh, we're still on a little hold, waiting for some conversations to happen. So, okay. um, but we'll have an update for you soon. Okay. Um, how did the, uh, I, I saw that the event went really well at the Elks. I apologize. I it didn't went very well. So. It went very well. Um, there were many folks from Rumbles was there. As well the governor as, made it, I saw. The governor was there. Very a couple well. of folks from the Attorney General's office. Yeah. The, uh, the New Hampshire Budget Director, who apparently is a Rumbles resident, or uh, as a former Rumbles uh -huh. resident, uh, Zellum. Huh? And it was in Rollins or Yeah, huh. And no kidding. Uh, yeah, some I know that was a few, a few others. So mm -hmm. That's great. Right. Yeah. I saw there was quite a few people well, that you made it. Yes, thank you. Yeah, I had, yeah. we had, I had a horrible migraine. Yeah. By the time I got it. It was a great event, though. They did a the, lot uh, of hard work. That's great. Right. They did. Um, Wednesday, we had the story in, Fod in uh, Boston, Channel 5. Oh, Channel 25, yes, it is. Okay. And went viral. They, they made it go viral. Oh, wow. So within 24 hours, his GoFundMe page went from $4,000. Right now, it's over $40,000. Oh, that's awesome. That's great. So, that's yeah, great. Mm -hmm. so, like, people from Alaska came. And yeah. Yeah. Was, yeah. Yeah. Folks from Alaska came. Yeah. So, yeah. so mm -hmm. that's great. Yeah. Very nice. The governor was pretty much an unexpected. Uh, yeah, and he spoke a little bit. That was nice. Yeah, that's yeah. 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 great. Yeah. But the, the Elks made him commendably. For and sure. I an email on yeah. yesterday because they really worked hard. And yeah. Do you have any idea what he took in on that? I don't as of yet. Yeah. I know they gave him, um, I think, 3000 in cash that mm -hmm. night. Mm -hmm. And um, from the little square thing that they were using to take some money, oh, it was 3000 yeah. on that. Oh, wow. But they still had uh, several more. That's mm -hmm. great. Good ground. Yeah. Yeah. It's not an inexp yeah. inexpensive journey, though. Yeah. 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 And his family was there too. That was yeah. nice. Yeah. Was it the lawn? Yeah. Mrs. Lawn, they organized it all. Yes. Yes. Yeah, yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there was just many. There yeah. was just yeah. many people. That was. They, and they have no they connection. Organized. To them. They just. They so have no paper paper or whatsoever. And, and, and uh, that's, that's what was really surprising about this whole thing. Yeah. That, uh, um, that they just saw the article, the original article in the paper, yeah. and said, "We need to do something." Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah. Well, no, so. Nice to see there's still some good in the world. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. It's awesome. yeah. So All we'll right. send you some harder deadlines sure. so that you know exactly when, yeah. when we decide yeah, to work. I've already started working on it, so it's perfect. Sounds All good. All right, thank you very much. Enjoy. Bye. Have a great night. Steve. Thank you. 
a switch into the fire service, so he came to us. Stan Al got his EMT on his own, no cost to us, but we're utilizing that skill already. So we're uh, going to work with him to get him through the fire academy. So the normal uh, class, on a, if you're going through the academy, is upwards of $4,000. It's one of the satellite classes because he's affiliated. We're part of that outfit, so it's $810. It's going to be our cost for him to go through his. Is that online or is that? No, it's, it's in it's classroom. Going to class. Yeah. This weekend he spent the whole weekend in the flashover simulator in the can up at the fire cap. Oh, so yeah. Yeah, he came back tonight and was eyes like this. <laughs> That's what happens when you go in there. Yes, exactly. <laughs> purchase order, I move mean, purchase order 1435 to the State of New Hampshire Department of Safety. Tuition for Firefighter 1 course for Firefighter Colin Rose. Coming out of training account eight hundred and ten dollars. Second. Any I'm the conversation? Sure. Question oh, right over. S E. Rose. All mm -hmm. those in favor of purchase order one four three five say aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Call. Aye. Aye. Yes. Okay. You know, I did, but I thought you were also going to get some in your operating budget, so that would be two different 
lines is what I'm trying to get yeah, to. Yeah, no, I see okay. what you're saying. I mean, so, but if you're I, not, then that's fine. I mean, I can throw some in there, too, and we can let it go through and see where we're at, because it's all... I just, you know, radio, radio, all of a sudden there's going to be our, our normal um, year to year on the budget, and it's going to just go exorbitant because of some of these other things that we just don't have control of right now. So mm -hmm. I'm not one to keep padding that. Mm -hmm. <coughs> We'll see. I'll, yeah. I'll bring it in. We can discuss it and decide what we want to do with it. Yeah. yeah, but we certainly need to keep it in the CFP to have it yeah. every year, have right. something go towards it, you know, to start doing it. And when we get some enough, we can yeah, transfer it. Yeah, that's going to be three or four year proposition to get us all caught up. And then it's going to be a rotation. It's always going to be. Always is going to be. Always going to. So it's probably always going to be there. It's always going to You know, so. But, okay, I just want to make sure everyone's clear with what your plan was. Mm -hmm. Those are the only other real budget okay. things other than what we've been kind of been. I don't anticipate anything else other than those items. Okay. okay. Anything? When is uh, the award ceremony again? September 24th, 2020. Okay. I knew it was on the 20th. Okay, 24th. 24, okay. 23, whatever. Yeah, yeah, I think 24 so. sounds right, actually, because, yeah. I think so. The family fun day is on the 22nd. 22nd. That's a Saturday. It's a Saturday. So it must be the 25th. Oh, yeah, because it's Monday night, right? 24th, yeah. 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 So I'm, I'm fairly confident that I, I don't need to interview them, but I've mm -hmm. served on committees with both of them, so mm -hmm. I have a favorable opinion of both of them. So, um, But if you're ready, I'm, I, we can start talking about it now, or do you want to, maybe do you want to interview and have conversations with the candidates well, so they understand? I don't have to interview, but maybe I, I just need to think about it. So they understand yeah. you know, really what they're there's, getting into. There's both candidates bring something. I agree. Yeah, so it's so you would let, do you want to wait another week and we can arrange to have um, do you want to interview you know, a one-on-one -on -one interview with them or do you want to bring them in I don't think we have to interview I just kind of have to oh, you want to think some maybe we should go on That's and fine. see maybe we can I told them both that it would be the coming weeks that yeah, we make a decision yeah, so we don't want to have to do it tonight but so we're not meeting we're not meeting weeks, next week yeah. you're right so. um, but maybe we can have a, a meeting just to go over the what each one brings. I don't think we have to have an interview, but. Okay, I have to, I have to figure out how we, uh, how we do that. Um, yeah, it's not a personal issue. Right, so yeah, it's, it's not a, a right, it would not be a non-public conversation, it shouldn't be a non-public conversation. So, um, I'm stumped. Um, we'll ask the Municipal Association how they think we should handle it. Um, I would think, I would think having each of them come in, it would be a public meeting, um, much like when the um, select board before I got on interviewed candidates to re replace the Tumblr. They had conversations. Mm -hmm. It's not like you know when we hired uh, a secretary that was private because it's a personnel mm -hmm. thing. But, um, and each candidate came in and was interviewed. 
So it doesn't have to be a formal interview process, but we have a conversation with each of them and um, discuss what they think their strengths are, you know, weaknesses, that sort of thing. So okay. If that's what you want to do, I'm, I'm good with that too. I mean, I, I don't I don't see a disadvantage to waiting and having that conversation. So. We just really want to have it done before we go into the, the biggest time of our year. And that's coming up. In yeah. A <laughs> couple of weeks to start. So. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. And the person will be on board by the before uh, budget um, workshops. Before October first. Before yeah, we're going to have budget workshops be long before October first. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Okay. All right. So. Oh, that's right. We're only in August. Well. Oh, that's true. But September is next week. Yeah, that's right. So. Okay. And you don't meet next Monday. No, we, we don't. don't meet next Monday. So. Um, all right. So we will table that for now, and I will let right. both the candidates know. We'll try. Um, so the calendar right now. So we're not meeting next week, but that doesn't. Mean, are you around next week? I am. So that doesn't mean that we can't say. I guess we can't because we already have a planning board meeting on Tuesday night. That doesn't mean we can't say on maybe Wednesday night. Ask them to come and have a conversation with us or Thursday. That's night true. If you want. That's true. Yeah. Um, so what I can is, there, is it either night better for you? I think I'm pretty open next week. Okay. Um, I don't know what we have on the agenda for those planning board. I wonder if we could do it before that. But we could do it. What time is your planning board? Seven. So I don't we know. We could do it at six. Yeah. I don't yeah. think we need a lot of time. Just think. Yeah. Let me can... let me reach out to both the candidates and All see right. if Wednesday or Thursday is better, and just okay. see if there's a better time. I mean, I'm, okay. I don't want to be fair. I don't. I don't want to say it's only it's only an hour. If we're mm -hmm. having a, a good conversation, yeah. we. I don't want to say, oh, too bad we're, we, we, we're done talking to you because we gotta, i got to run to the planning board. So mm -hmm. I don't think that's fair. Okay. So I'll do that. All I'm right. Okay. Moving right along. Town hall budgets, town hall maintenance, the portico. I have not heard back from the contractor. Well, so I guess summer time, but we'll see. Um, I don't know what's going to happen. It's going to happen this year, to be honest with you. Well, um, budget planning. Um, I've asked, I asked Carolyn to put administrative support on here because um, as we're working through the budget process, I don't want to lose sight of um, uh, the ad hoc committee that was going to make a recommendation to it, or made recommendations to us, and wants, oh, to do, oh, oh. wants to do a presentation and a hearing to get input from the public mm -hmm. about uh, what their thoughts are on, um, mm -hmm. on that. I know that the chair of that committee has been under the weather, so she hasn't been able to schedule anything yet. Okay. So. Um, we reach out to her again and see how, uh, if, what a realistic timeline is for that. But that's why I left okay. it on there. I All don't right. want to lose sight of that. And uh, the next thing is timeline. Um, so, Caroline printed out for each of us. These are the important dates. There's only seven pages of them from the Municipal Association um, uh, just for SP2 towns. There's a separate calendar for all this uh, traditional town meeting towns. Um, so our um, our first big deadline though is the um, is the eighth of um, of, um, of January. Is that the last day we can give notice before we can have a public hearing? But before that, where did it go? I spent all this time this afternoon highlighting and making notes, and so the, that's that. But then there's the so the budget committee. <coughs> We don't have collective bargaining in this town, so we don't have to worry about that date. Um, sure, it's uh, January 24th. Last day for the official budget committee to deliver copies of the final budget and recommendations to the governing body. That's the 24th of uh, January. And then we have to have our um, delivery of session either on the 2nd or 9th of February. So it's um, time is of the essence. So. I would say we need to start scheduling some budget workshops here in uh, the select board. We have been doing them on Saturdays. We don't have to. Um, we, we can do it on a different day of the week if that's uh, better. Typically we do you know two or three hour chunks. Or we have it on like two or three hour chunks. And going through, um, going through the budget. Um, do you have a preference as to uh, when you would like to meet? Do you prefer the Saturday? Or well, what month are we talking? September. 
I am unavailable three quarters of the Saturdays in September. Okay. So I can do during I can do uh, night meetings. Okay. Or um, so I also yeah. have half Fridays off. Okay. Um, okay. I usually no no later than one. Okay. So if that's a possibility, I don't yeah. know what your schedule is. Um, I will make it a possibility. Uh, that's what I need to do. I'm just looking at my I'll see how I update my calendar on Friday. Would you be, um, would you be, uh, oh, would you have, uh, you wouldn't be, uh, uh, finishing up doing things for a family fun day on the 23rd, or you'd be all done on the 22nd? Yeah. Okay. All right. I don't want to. I don't, I don't want to do you, anything. You do a lot, so I don't want to. Yeah, work. no, I mean, I don't think there's anything that I have to do after the baptism. It's always cleaned up and everything's okay. away by that night. All right. Um, I mean, that's just a... The week before we're away, so and then that's a family day. I, I could do the weekend after that. But that's the last weekend. The 29th. Yeah. Why don't we book the 29th, and then we're going to, have to do some during the week. Don't we? Okay. Up to that, but, um, we can also do uh, come in, or, or you know, we can dedicate parts of the meeting time to the, to doing the workshop too, mm -hmm. if we want to. Okay. Um, so the 29th, we want to say 9 a.m. here? Yep. All right. Mm -hmm. workshop. That's for us to do the town meeting, not to meet with these department heads, right? Right. This okay. will be a... Department I'm going to, this is... I'm going to leave the... Um, well, by that point, we may have the, the fire, the police, and the road uh, budgets. Mm -hmm. um, but Which this, we can... This will be uh, um, administrative and things that... Yep. That we can. Yep. Okay. So the 29th at 9 a.m. town hall. Yep. And let's plan to go till noon. Yeah. All right. All right. And then um, there'll be one big one, and then we're out next week. We're gonna do an interviews the uh, 10th, 11th, the week of the 10th. The 11th is primary day, so that's out. We're gonna be busy that day. Um, the 12th will be too exhausted after dealing with the town works from that day. We've got the 13th, or the state primary rather. Um, 13th is a Thursday. I don't know. Uh, just make sure we're busy week. Um, what about? Sorry, I'm just throwing this around here. What about if we start our meetings at 6, and the first hour is dedicated to um, to a budget workshop, and then we start this like work meeting at 7, the regular meeting at 7? Okay. Can you... Can I can even be here at 5.30 if you could. Uh, we could do 5.30 to 7. Yeah. Maybe we can just do 5.30 to 6.30, now I don't have to change one. All right, so let's do that then. We'll do on the 10th and the 17th, we'll do 5.30. Yeah. Okay. And, and this is September? Yeah. Now, are you going to ask all of the, or am I going to ask, I'm not sure who's doing this, but ask like town clerk, tax collector, planning board, zoning board, and all of them to have any financial requests to us by a certain date before these days? Yes. Okay. Is that me or you? Um, that's me. 
that's what we're going to decide to okay. tonight. As the rep from to the budget committee, uh, do you want to handle it? Again. Okay. Okay. I'm fine with that. Okay. 6.30. Okay, so what I would suggest then is to say to them that they need to have everything in by the... Uh, by the 24th of September. Why are we doing it after our workshop? Well, because there are things that we can talk about. Oh, okay. Oh, there are, there are right. items that we, we will handle, like uh, the electricity, that sort of thing. Okay. Um, so the 24th of September. Yeah. That we will have it. Well, we're not really going to touch it that night. We could tell them by the, the 28th. That way it would be in by the day before we have our actual budget workshop. Unless you think you're going to do something with it. Let's just make it early, and then if they're a day okay, or two the behind, let's just make it the twenty fourth. Okay. Um, to all departments. Budget in by nine twenty four. So that's anybody who's in associated with this building. Yep. Okay. I can't. Have Bob's already. Where do you put the library? The library does their own uh, under their board of trustees. And they go through the budget committee They go directly. through the budget committee directly. Okay. They typically just let us know so we can plug it in so we know uh, but what... But the trustees uh, need to know that, that the schedule has tightened a little bit. So... I will... I can do you want to send yeah. word to them? Let yeah. them know what yeah. the... Uh, maybe send them a copy if they don't have it already. Because uh, Caroline sent us this link to the... Um, yep. We send that to them and just let them know that these are the dates they have to be living by. So. Okay. All right. And we will go from there. So, where uh, we don't have it on, it, well, it's under um, your board member activities, but I want to ask now. So, the, the we're talking about budgeting. The police uh, space needs group uh, did meet, and so you're waiting on other information to come in? Well, um... Bobby is meeting with somebody about land. Okay. And um, that hasn't happened yet. And then also, um, oh God, I just lost my train of thought. Oh, um, somebody um, has approached him about reutilization of this building. Possibly. Okay. All right. So those two people that might might bring as a complete package, you know, this is what we can do with this, this, and okay. you know. So we're waiting for that. Yep. Um, we did have, a, as a group, we did have a um, project picked, as in the one that we all felt was the best one. Did you go to the public mm -hmm. Okay. It was the one, the second presentation. The yeah. 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 Um, so, oh, and there was one other thing. Oh, oh, man, I was like, I wanted to ask Bobby something. I totally spaced it. Um, I had had just a... A thought, and I'm not sure if this is even feasible or possible. But if in, in the event that we did um, go with the um, Silver Street and the uh, just the town hall and the police department, I was going to ask Bobby if it's possible that if the police can have half the building up and down, and town can have half the building up and down, then you wouldn't have to have an elevator. You still have stuff upstairs. No, I wouldn't. Yeah, no, I wouldn't. So okay, she knows more. Okay. Well, first of all, this is the select board meeting, yeah. and the public needs to remember that they shouldn't be making comments that we can I hear. didn't say a word. You need to remember that you're nodding and gyrating and gesturing is distracting. Yes. So, Because you would have anything to do with the public on a down floor. Upstairs would be planning, zoning, oh. which wouldn't necessarily... I still think you need to be ADA compliant, so... But, um, if, but if it doesn't... Well, I'm just going to, I think we should ask the question. Yeah, no, I think you should. You know, because that's, that's a big chunk of money that right. that we have to do if you're going to put that second floor on. Okay. But with the stuff that was upstairs that the public doesn't have to go upstairs for. But, okay, I, I think you yeah. should ask the question, but yeah. I, I would have reservations about it. Yeah. So. But anyway, that's what we're waiting for. We're waiting for um, Bobby to have his two conversations, and then he's going to call us and have a meeting again. All right, so uh, we are out of the timeline. The residence tax. Um, Did you get an answer on that? I have, no, I have not answered, I haven't received an answer yet. So before we can actually make a decision, we need to know whether or not the select board at any time can make a decision or if it has to be by, via town right. meeting. Um, so if, if it does, then it would need to be um, either the select board or, or petitioned 
by residents to mm -hmm. uh, do a warrant article if that's the case. But um, we're investigating on what, how it was actually came into place in town. So yeah. whether I was just put, uh, I am imagining it had to have been put in place by a town meeting action at some point. So, but maybe not. So we are standing by to find out from the DRA where we're at. Uh, tax rate setting process. The MS 535 is not in our folder because we're waiting on um, information from the uh, uh, trustees of the trust funds. Yeah, so the email. So yeah. um, what I would suggest is uh, once that information is in, we need to sign it so we can send it off. Yep. Now there were some things that were listed on the bottom of that, that notification that said that they were late. Do you know what those were? Those were? The, I knew she was only addressing the um, tax rate setting, but... Did you see the three things that were in the bottom? They've been submitted, yeah. They were, um, I don't remember what they were. I can't remember so what they were either. They've they already been submitted. Me. I asked the question too, and Caroline oh, okay. said, no, no, they, they'd already been submitted. So okay. It wasn't actually an issue. Um, I freaked out myself and said, what the heck's going on? Mm -hmm. But no, they, they were, in fact, already submitted. Yeah, let's see if I can find it. It's okay. I mean, it's, it's, it's a move anyway. It, yeah. yeah, no, I already, yeah, I asked, I already asked about it. They, they've <laughs> been taken care of. They were, there were reports that have already been filed. So, um, so what I would would suggest is that once it's ready tomorrow, we can sign. Uh, we'll, um, we'll make a motion tonight that we can come in this week and sign it because we need to get it off okay. the conference um, sooner than later so we can get this taken care of. So, um, I would move that we um, authorize the select board to come in during the week to sign the MS 535 when it's prepared. I'll second that. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. So we're all set there. Uh, recreation. How about a budget update? We don't have one yet. We're okay. still waiting for final invoices to be paid. Well, okay. we had a really good meeting. We did. Okay. A, um, we had a, the pros and cons of the program. Yeah. What we're going to look to do for next year. Um, starting budgeting very soon as well. Actually, now that I have dates, I can talk to um, mm -hmm. D. Um, but we're still waiting for things to come in. So. Okay. Um, I think it's better than what I had said, or what we had projected, oh, if oh, I understand okay. that. I, I, st do you know if we still have a little down file? I, I'm assuming, yes. Yeah. yeah, but not as large as we had thought. Okay. So that's a good thing. Um, there are a few processes that we're going to have to change next year, and, and one of them is the snack. Um, the snack of cards and... Uh, because what they did was parents gave uh, money and put them on a card and it got deducted. And now, it's a note card. It, yeah, and, and so now we have to re reimburse yeah. uh, people for 25 cents and, a student, you know, it's like, so we have to kind of revamp that a little yes. bit, I think, so we don't have to do the reimbursements of sm small dollars amounts. So um, they were going to look to notify to people to see if they wanted to donate it towards the program and that. And I have, did you hear anything on that? No. I already donated my three dollars and fifty cents. Okay. Oh, did they? They did notify you? No, I asked a question about it. Oh, okay. Talked to Caroline okay. Sanford, okay. Just to keep it. So, um, anyway, so but you know, I think all in all, I think everyone thought that the program went really well, and yeah. um, and we're going to discuss based on the budget that we're going to present. It, it's a possibility that it's going to go up, but not by a lot. Yeah. That sounds good. But yeah, so so we can leave it on there, please, yeah, so then I can no, get you. Most definitely. So oh, there's the snack refunds. Yeah, yeah no, it's, yeah, yeah, I had I, I added it on because it's. Uh, yeah, we need to, if you leave that on enough. I think um, idea. what I had suggested was to Caroline that that's just suggest to you all is that we um, send a letter or email, however, the best way to communicate with these folks is um, letting them know what their their um, their balance yeah. is. If they would like a refund, to let us know in writing, and we will refund it. Mm -hmm. If not, um, uh, can we uh, consider a donation to the recreation fund? Yeah. Yep. So the onus is on the people to re reply in writing yep. um, back to us. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. I mean, some of it was a quarter. Uh, yeah, was there like was some forty of something dollars. Uh, yeah, and, and that person probably would want their spot, which, but, seems, which is fine. That's reasonable. But a lot of twenty-five cent ice cream. They're a lot. Yeah. So it's we'll. Um, it's a lot of money. Exactly. But anywho, so yeah, it's a it's a work in progress. So, yep. so Perfect. All right. Um, uh, but I skipped over something. Transfer station revised ordinance in the um, folder that would be. Um,
voted to accept the changes last week, and now we need to sign off on them because we didn't have a copy to sign off on. So we do, do it right now. We'll okay. lose track. Okay, where's the left one? I'm sorry? Where will I find that revised? Right here. We'll then send you a link to it. Thank you. Yeah. It was in, it wasn't, it wasn't on last week. <clears throat> okay, so it doesn't matter. You can sign first. No, one. it doesn't. One in the, on the website last week was not. Was the older one. Was the older one? Yeah. The older one. Which yeah. didn't have the, okay, so the, all the, I know Caroline went in and accepted all the changes in, in the Google Drive that we've officially adopted them. So we can provide a link now to you. Mm -hmm. That has that on there. I can put a note on it for it to send it send you the uh, link to it, okay? Filing plans for the planning board. Um, we had discussed this last week relative to whether or not um, uh, the tax collector was going to do it. We never set the fee. We never officially set the fee. Oh. So, what the planning board consultant had suggested was $50 um, to cover the um, to cover the cost of the staff time, mm -hmm. um, which begs the question. How much does the person actually getting get? Because the, the, you have to pay taxes. It's not. Um, it's not it's, free it's money. You have, salary, to, so you have to pay taxes mm -hmm. on this money. Caroline double checked us to make sure, although we knew we had to. But so, does that mean the person actually performing it gets forty dollars, or do they get fifty dollars? And so then the fee is sixty dollars to the person actually, the applicant actually doing the filing. I said it was fifty dollars. I assumed in my mind that the, the person doing the, the actual work would get forty dollars, mm -hmm. but we weren't clear about that. So we, okay. need to, we need to decide what our intention is. Is it sixty dollars, and then the person doing the work gets fifty, or is it fifty, and then they get forty? We never, we never decided. And well, they get they get fifty, but some of it goes to taxes. But, but the town, right? Well, so the town. The, the processing of all the, of the taxes and stuff, the town would have to carry that cost. If that, I, maybe I'm not being clear, but no. so if it's fifty dollars, the filing fee, mm -hmm. there are still taxes that need to be taken out of that and staff time and all that to do that. I mean, it's not a lot, but so the fee is supposed to cover a fee is supposed to cover the actual service, right? Mm -hmm. So. That's where some of the confusion came. Was it? Are we? Is it fifty dollars, okay, and we're I taking see, see we're saying. taking the, just the taxes out of that? Is it fifty dollars, and the taxes are taken out of that, and then they get the remainder? I see what you're saying. So it's the town portion of the stuff. Correct. I got it. So it's got it. It's not a lot of money. Got it. Got it. Got it's got not. It. We're not. But we should be clear. <coughs> Excuse me. So to be fair to the employee doing mm -hmm. it, or, mm -hmm. or who does or may not want to do it, or whatever. So. Mm -hmm. I thought it was fifty dollars, and that they would get a portion of it. So yeah, not I not fifty dollars, and not have to pay taxes out of it. And the town needs the taxes. So that's not doesn't seem right to me. So I would so if we want to say the person gets fifty dollars and they take taxes out of it, that's fine. But there still is going to be staff time associated with the with the town doing it. It's not it's minimal. Mm -hmm. to, Probably they memorize the occasion we're talking about it, but it's still there, so we should acknowledge it. So Not this is more problems. this is going to be part of the. Um, I mean, she wouldn't get two payroll checks, right? Yes. She would. Yes, that's what the auditor wants it. Really? Yeah. Okay. I mean, I. I mean, you should be able to identify. Well, I would imagine, but the, the auditor said. When I spoke to Caroline today, that suggested that there be two different checks. So, I think 
the employer that's getting it would prefer to have two different checks as well. So it's it's not as if hmm. be honoring but that it's still request. Under one W two. Yeah, we still have to pay tax. Totally. Under so. One. Okay, so the, I mean, the fee is 50, but the person doing the filing for the town gets 40 of it. And mm -hmm. the, the rest of the town, 10, the so main 10 goes to, to, to cover expenses on the town side. Okay. Do you think that's... That's what I had imagined was happening, but... Uh, okay, let's, um, do we have to vote on that? Yeah, let's do that. <clears throat> if you make the motion, and we'll say... Make a motion that we ch we're charging the $50 for the... The applicant pays. The applicant, yeah. okay. The applicant pays fifty dollars for filing plans for the planning board, and forty of it goes to the person who is going to be the employee, the employee who said could because it may not necessarily be always there, right? Yeah, I mean, it doesn't. Yeah, yeah, okay. So then forty of it will go to the um, employee, employee who filing for filing. Okay, I'll second that. <coughs> Can you get that summing for the record? Okay. All right. So all those in favor. Say aye. 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 Opposed? All right. So it's a $50 fee, 40 to be permitted to the employee doing the filing. Okay. okay. Intend to cover the town costs. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So that, the next thing on the agenda is alternative electric sources. Mm -hmm. um, we've, we've talked about this in the past. We've been approached again by another company uh, claiming they can save us money on our, our electric rates. Um, the uh, water department had been looking into this. Um, it's um, it's not possible for a commercial, a more considered a commercial venture, to buy on the same market than a residential can. Like you and I can go to this website that lists like 20 different <coughs> sources to buy, but a town or, or a commercial enterprise cannot utilize those. Mm -hmm. But there are commercial brokers that do that, and one of these approached us. Mm -hmm. So the water department is still very interested in trying to set their rates, I think we should be very interested in saving our rates. Mm -hmm. uh, um, they're willing to start looking into and looking for commercial brokers mm -hmm. and doing the legwork. So I Is this person that, that approached us a commercial broker? Yes. Oh, okay. So we pass that information on to them mm -hmm. if they want to look into it more. And do a presentation there. And they can let us know what they yeah. found out. It's always strength in numbers. So. Mm -hmm. uh, can we link with the sewer water? Can we or, do it a joint thing? I don't know. That we'd have to look into. Because we don't pay their bills. <clears throat> right. It would still be separate. In my mind, it's similar to like the like what Towns and Energy does, mm -hmm. like the school and the. Yeah. They're, they're still coming to Rollins for delivering oil. Mm -hmm. They understand they have to be paid out of separate pots of money. But it makes a bigger pot better, so yeah, it's everybody. a better pricing. So yeah. I'm not sure if electricity does the same thing. I, well, that they're willing to look into it. Yeah. I applaud them for that and. Uh, Reap the benefits of their light work. Yeah. Okay. All right. I mean, the other That's thing good. we should be thinking about too. I mean, we have we have been approached in the past, and we never found the time to look into it further. But um, if for some reason we stay in this building, why don't we have solar panels on the roof? If um, we have several pieces of property in this town, we have um, over off of Greenwood Drive, a very large tract of land. We could have a solar farm now. Mm -hmm. I mean, we currently rent the field out for very modest rent, um, we could be making a lot more money off of that, doing that. I don't know if that's the place to do it, but we have, may have you have laid the transfer station. We should start thinking about, I think, some of these things too. Mm -hmm. And that could up offset the operating cost for electricity. So, um, But it takes time, so mm -hmm. and I know we always have the best of intentions, but we run out of time. So, But that is something I think we should start looking at. Um, I don't know if it's going to work in this budget process, but at least start talking to people and maybe getting ready for next year. Mm -hmm. Maybe start now. Um, but that's, uh, that's why alternate, alternative electric sources is on there. Uh, Stratford Regional Planning Commission Energy Aggregation Proposal. Whew, that's a mouthful. That's also, um, so SRPC is looking at um, perhaps doing something similar uh, with, um, with uh, other towns in, in the county banding together to see if we can get better electric rates by doing whatever they, mm -hmm. they, they, they come up with. But I think we should probably be interested in at least hearing what they have to say. Yep. If we can save some money, I think that would be a positive. So they're positive on the tax rate. Okay.
ask you one more question. Yep. On that other one for the electric sources, was it just the town hall or was it all in the sort of, all buildings? Was it like the fire station? Yeah, it was supposed Part to be burned. Yeah, because okay. I mean, you buy your. I mean, currently we buy our electricity through EverSource. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. EverSource is now officially out of the power generation business. Mm. Um, after they sold, they finally sold their last of their hydro dams. So, um, so email. They sent I saw that today. Yeah. Was, was yeah. That today, okay. Yeah. Whatever they sent it to us, that's what they said. So, um, I don't know if that means it's better now because they'll have to buy off the, the open market. I don't know. Mm. It still would be a middle. Person, I'm assuming, so they would want to make money somehow. I imagine they would charge us more for, mm -hmm. the, for the electricity, but we don't know yet. But uh, it's something we should be exploring. If we can save money, I think we should be Looking trying to do it. Absolutely. Um, transfer station post closure report. I'm still waiting on one more question to be answered about um, the, 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 the full length of, it, of the actual quote unquote capped. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Um, uh, landfill, and then once that's done, it's done. Mm -hmm. You can sign it and send it off. So. Okay, good. I was hoping it would have been done this week, but it's, it will be done by next week. So, well, we won't be here anyways, but it will be done by next week. So. Okay. Town administration, board member activities. What else do we have going on? We've pretty I'm, much I'm, done your updates. So. I'm free this week. Okay, we need to. Okay. Um, building permits. That's the building permits. Um, from Nelson Lowry regarding the, um, the, railroad. the railroad crossing. He actually called me about this as I was walking out the door. He wanted to ensure that I realized there was a typo in it. I'm trying to find it for him, but I don't see it. The date. Oh, yeah, it's not 2108, it's 2018. He just wanted me to make oh. it. He wanted me to change it up because he is very concerned about the official record, and that's fair enough. It's now says 2018. Uh, 2108. Nelson cares very deeply about the historical record. So, anyway, uh, uh, Ramos would select persons. Please consider this communication a follow up to my observation made a few weeks ago on the Pan American Railway grade crossing at Church Street in Salmon Falls Village. Four days ago, on August 23rd, my wife and I were driving across the vehicular bridge spanning the Salmon Falls River and connecting Main Street to South Broadway with Front Street in the village. Uh, I noticed an eastbound freight train crossing the upper trestle, so I drove under the railroad overpass and thence to the Church Street grading crossing. Uh, to, remind my to remind my concern what has been on the breach in the street pavement as part of the crossing, such that the left-hand track looking eastward toward Portland is no longer adequately supported. As I anticipated when the forward truck um, of each freight car enters onto the unsupported portion of that track. The car leans to the left at this point in time only a little, and as the rear truck exits the unsupported section of the track, the car rocks uh, at this point only a little. Uh, that cavity or trench will only get worse and likely not, a not at a gradual rate. Autumn rain, water caught down there will become frozen as winter ice and thus exacerbate the problem but at an intensified rate of decline. Rather, many years ago now, there was a similar problem in one of the grade crossings in Rochester. Despite growing concern from the city fathers, nothing was done about the problem by the New Hampshire North Coast Railroad, and one night a whole bunch of sand-laden hopper cars ended up on the ground in the middle of the city. Uh, not pretty. Uh, the Church Street grade crossing is not safe. Uh, Pan Am needs to fix it pronto. Uh, signed Nelson H. Lowry, a resident. So the road agent's been in contact with um, with the railroad. He's not here this evening, obviously. So we'll get an update the next time he comes in. Okay. Do you want this for the... Yeah, okay. Perfect. Okay, so I don't, I'm assuming everything else in here is a building permit. So let's see. Let's get to them. Yes, okay. First one is... Oh, oh, what is this? It 
doesn't have a permanent number attached to it. Oh, it's to replace a failed septic system. Is that one on old mill? Woodland no. Drive. Six Woodland Drive. Tom has reviewed it. Please use this for your approval instead of regular form. Thanks, Tom. Reviewed 827. And then they have the um, the state form here. So the check to the town and the state and to the check state. To the so state. Okay. Um, make sure we don't have to stamp it anymore. Sign. It's been signed off by Tom. So oh, this is one that needs a stamp, right? It just needs a stamp on here. Yeah. On, on the coffee. So I'm not sure. So tell me, I guess the best way to put it in here is just. Um, septic review uh, for six Woodland Drive. There are several copies here. I think uh, you'll see them. They're assigned by Tom. Well, okay, okay. So the first filling permit we have. So I have to stamp and sign, right? Yes. Received. It's not in America water. I wait till Denise is done. Try to do this before the meeting starts. And then we have one other uh, subject for you to do. I'll do it now. I guess. And this is just one, so that doesn't help. Okay. Yep. So there's only two. There's only two copies okay. there. And only one here, so. So we also have another septic. It's for 110 Rollins Road. It's been reviewed by Tom Clark. This is um, the application for the. the that subdivision that was approved by the planning board. So this is for their septic system. Okay, does this go to you or to what do I have to do? Yeah, I yeah. signed up. Yeah, oh, you've okay. signed it. So okay. you're all set. So yeah. you have to that stamp and Tom's reviewed that one as well. So and Tom is working with the applicants about um, the upgrade to the road, getting an agreement with the town before they can do any of that. So Why am I signing this? We haven't agreed to this yet. What's that? Have, this is the subject. Have we? What's that? Have we agreed to this project at all? Oh, to the building permit? Yeah. We have not agreed to a building permit. Why would I send a similar one? Good question. Okay. So, good question. Should we write a note saying, should I? Should, well, yeah. I'm just going to look and see if you have okay. any notes on here. The last time we talked about this as a board, we said we were going to ask Tom to review, it's a good point, thank you, uh, review to um, the road, mm -hmm. look at the road so we can get something, so then we can move forward to the, the next step would be whether or not we're going to do a building permit. Right. Okay, so, all right. So we should hold on that, right? Uh, wait, I need to post it up, please. Yeah. Yes. Do we have a road agreement in place, Joe? Which I know we don't because we haven't signed off on it. Right. Now we have the actual building permits. It may actually be one in here. And so I may have Oh, maybe. Okay. <laughs> now that I've written that note on here, I'm going to say maybe he already reviewed it and he's got attached to it, but let's see. I didn't see it in there, so. Okay. okay. The first building permit is 2018-082. I'm not doing this right. Didn't we change the process? I don't know. It's in a, uh, it's a heating. HVAC, it's $175. That's for the, the new addition, the new building, right? Yeah. We usually do either the same map or along the street. Yeah, so uh, 80 Roberts Road, HVAC, been reviewed by Mr. Clark, it's a $175 fee. Roberts Road. This one is 
plumbing. Uh, reviewed ninety five dollars. Can you check off granted, please? I didn't check off granted in the four persons. I got it. Did I write a date in there? Did I write today's date? I did. Yes. Expire. Oh, you want to do 19? It's, no, can you do 6 30 19? Expires on 6 30 19? Yeah. I can't expect the poor man to have it done by tonight. <laughs> okay, it's, uh, next is 2018 084 433 Spruce Street. Um, so it's electrical work. The fee is $125. Okay, 2018-085-433 Spruce Street. This is the, the plumbing permit. Uh, it's $175 fee. Looks like the last one we have tonight is 2018-086-15 Heritage Drive. That's electrical. I'm going to do with their pool yet. Um, it is a $90 fee. And that's it for building permits. letter for an employee that we had to terminate last week. And we'll be signing it. Next is uh, the change in hours for um, for Caroline uh, that we, we voted on last week. So these are the, um, last week we authorized, um, uh, I thought we had four or five, but there's only three that are ready now. Um, Didn't we already do some last week? We signed the approval, now we need to sign the oh. checks. Oh, okay. Um, but the checks, I don't, are they in there? No. Or this is approval for her to cut the checks tomorrow, I guess. Yeah, unless you have the checks in your file, you have to file the checks. Didn't see them in there. I'll double check, are they there? Comparison. We've already approved them, so <clears throat> it could be. I didn't notice a sort of retirement system. That's our standard one we do. Let's see. There was the, um, the Clement, uh, Rollins Road, ones in, uh, one to Southeast Land Trust, one to Hanson Corner Realty, and one to Eleanor Genetics. There was five. There's only three checks because two of them are going to the to the same holdings. So they were separate parcels, so that one was signed off on because we've already agreed to it. Make sure that all three checks are in here.
typically, so she usually puts all of the, whatever we approved the week before, mm -hmm. it goes in this folder. So like say, consolidated communications for whatever it's for. That's, what, that's the new phone company, right? So it's $48 for the, for the phone bill. So that's in there. This should have been in here, actually. So they were. Okay. But because they came from the tax collector, they're all good. We want we approved them last week, <clears throat> so we didn't have to pay interest. Right. So that's why they were approved last week. But the check didn't get cut this week, so they're good to go. That's what that was. Do you have any idea what this is? What am I? The bottom one. say what it is though. Right. I don't know. It's uh it's typically the business supplies and stuff, but I don't know. It could be in car in cartridges for all I know. Mm. But we should ask her. Yeah, I'll have her ask them. Okay. So then I then I'll come in and sign it if it's after the can I have that for a second? Yeah, yes. yes, thank you. Noticed when I was looking at the um, gasoline credit card. We don't have any gas correspondence. That's it. That was it. No. That was it. There was the only correspondence was the um, the letters. For oh, the that we signed. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Um, so the the only thing I I noticed was when I was sending the you know the gas um, the thing when they go and fill up the pickup trucks and, uh, mm -hmm. you know, and the cruises and all that. And the cruises and all that. There is a lot of people who no longer work for the town of Rollinsford whose name showed up on the bill. Well, what it is is uh, they probably just gave that code to somebody else. But oh. I think that we should we should it's make it a real code. habit of right. taking a name off right. and and if you don't have a name at that time, putting a name on it. In the, I don't know who does that. Do you know who does it? Is it the, Carol, What are the company or? that's... What we go through, I'm sure it doesn't. Well, but someone's going to notify them that we no longer have an employee. To have it, right. You know. So they should be issued a new code. Yeah, we should make a note of that. Because, like, Highway had Jeff's name, not George's. Not George's? Let's no. Okay. I mean, Jeff's been gone over a year, right? Right. That should be listed as. And then the police had one, and the fire had one. Is it each person? So, like, say if each officer goes and fills up, do they have their own code? I believe that's correct. Okay. And in the fire department, I think it's only the officers okay. that have it. I, and the highway, I would assume yeah, Ed or me. George or whatever could do it. Well, we didn't have a uh, right. an assistant when Jeff was on there, right. so it was probably so, only Jeff. Probably. Um, but it just seems like if we don't have them as an employee, we shouldn't have them oh, on I agree. an authorization. I agree. Just to remind uh, that you've got a 10 of 12 foot piece of wood above the window in the back that rotted and fell off. Now I'm not saying you got to do anything with it, just to remind you that you know that it's still there. Thank you. Anything else? Yeah, I do. Why don't you form a committee for solar? There is a... Um... <clears throat> there was an energy committee before. Mm -hmm. We could we could think about revising that thing. 
I'm, I'm just one. thinking that I think there would be a lot of people who would be interested in specifically getting solar power into town. Okay. I think so too. Yeah. It's confusing to me. But, you, know, you know, rather than you know, being looking at light bulbs and yeah. all this other yeah. stuff. Yeah. And uh, if it's our desire, I can put something together and we can send it out. Yeah. So, oh, the only other thing that I had for tonight, I don't want to forget. We haven't adjourned yet. Um, you're okay. I wanted to send the notification out to uh, the town's folks about Oak Street getting paved. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, that's fine. It's Dover still hasn't told us officially yet, but they're thinking this week yeah, I, I or next we, week. So I, I had to be very big into the, over the next few weeks. Well, just telling them. I want people to have a heads up. Gonna but it's going to happen tonight, yes. though. I mean, yeah. I wish I could give more of a warning. What if, they act, if Dover actually follows through and tells us before the, the crew goes out there? I don't remember what company they're But the they're nice using. part is it's going to be nighttime. Yeah, nighttime. I'm sure the people that live on the street will complain because it's at nighttime. Right? Yeah. Um, yeah. There are, yeah. It needs to get done. So. Yeah, yeah, and no. It will be a hassle Absolutely. closing it uh, during the daytime. Oh, God. For yeah. commuters I know, I just cringe so. every time I come up and say, is it doing it now or not? You know? Yeah, so I will send that out there. All right, any other community input? All right, you're adjourned. Uh, 752.